Welcome back to Ask Literature. Today we're diving to a topic that has not only shaped political discourse but also left a profound mark on literature liberalism. This complex and multifaceted ideology has evolved over centuries, influencing countless writers and thinkers along the way. Epers, so what is liberalism and how has it affected the literary landscape? Let's explore. At its core, liberalism is an ideology centered on individual freedoms, equality, and the idea of self-governance. Emerging in the 17th and 18th centuries, particularly during the Enlightenment, it advocated for the rights of individuals against the tyranny of absolute monarchies and oppressive regimes. This focus on personal liberty was a radical shift from the traditional systems of power that dominated earlier societies, laying the groundwork for modern democratic thought. As liberalism took shape, it found expression in the works of several prominent philosophers and writers. John Locke, often referred to as the father of liberalism, emphasized the importance of individual rights and the social contract. His ideas on natural rights that every individual is entitled to life, liberty, and property provided the philosophical foundation for liberal thought. Locke's influence extended into the literary realm, inspiring writers to explore themes of freedom and individualism. In the 18th century, as liberal ideas gained traction, literature began to reflect these emerging values. The works of Enlightenment thinkers such as Voltaire and Rousseau challenged traditional authority and explored the nature of human freedom. Fred Voltaire, with his sharp wit and incisive critiques, advocated for freedom of speech and religious tolerance. His satirical work, Candide, serves as a biting commentary on optimism and societal norms, embodying the spirit of liberal thought by questioning the status quo. Rousseau, on the other hand, introduced the concept of the noble savage in his work The Social Contract, suggesting that civilization corrupts natural goodness. His emphasis on the collective will and the importance of civic virtue offered a different perspective within liberalism, focusing on community alongside individual rights. This tension between individualism and collectivism continues to be a point of discussion in contemporary liberal thought. As we move into the 19th century, liberalism became a powerful force in shaping not just political landscapes but also literary movements. At the Romantic era, emerging as a reaction to the Industrial Revolution and the Age of Reason embraced the liberal ideas of personal freedom and emotional expression. Writers like William Wordsworth and Lord Byron celebrated the individual's experience and connection to nature, reflecting the romantic emphasis on personal liberty. Aaron Byron, in particular, epitomized the romantic hero, a figure who defies societal constraints and embodies the quest for personal freedom. His poetry often explores themes of love, loss, and rebellion, resonating deeply with liberal ideals. In works like Chile Harold's Pilgrimage, Byron captures the essence of the liberal spirit, championing the rights of the individual against oppressive forces. And meanwhile, in America, the influence of liberalism was evident in the burgeoning literary scene. Authors like Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau embraced transcendentalism, a philosophical movement rooted in liberal thought that emphasized self-reliance and individuality. In Thoreau's essay, Civil Disobedience argues for the moral imperative to resist unjust laws, drifting the core liberal belief in the importance of personal conscience and freedom. As we venture into the late 19th and then early 20th centuries, liberalism began to adapt to the changing social landscape. The rise of socialism and the labor movement challenged traditional liberal thought, prompting debates over the role of government in ensuring equality and social justice. Writers like George Bernard Shaw and H.G. Wells grappled with these issues, using their works to critique societal norms and advocate for progressive change. In the realm of modernist literature, liberalism continued to influence writers as they explored the complexities of individual experience in an increasingly fragmented world. Thinkers like Virginia Woolf and James Joyce pushed the boundaries of narrative form and content, emphasizing the inner lives of their characters. Woolf's stream of consciousness technique in Mrs. Ed Dalloway and Joyce's innovative style in Ulysses reflect the liberal emphasis on individuality, showcasing the intricacies of human thought and emotion. A 20th century also saw the rise of postmodernism, which challenged the very foundations of liberalism by questioning the notions of truth and objective reality. Eric authors like Thomas Pynchon and Don DeLillo examined the effects of technology and consumerism on individual identity, grappling with the implications of a rapidly changing world. This era of literature invites us to reconsider the liberal ideals of freedom and autonomy in the face of societal complexities. As we look at contemporary literature, the influence of liberalism remains evident. Modern authors continue to explore themes of identity, freedom, and social justice, often addressing issues like race, gender, and class. In the works of writers such as Chimanda Ngozi Adichie and Tan Isi Coates engage with liberal ideals, advocating for equality and challenging systemic oppression. Their narratives resonate with the foundational principles of liberalism, pushing for a more inclusive understanding of freedom. 
So what can we take away from the rich history of liberalism in literature? At its essence, liberalism champions the individual's right to express themselves and pursue their own path. It encourages writers to explore the depths of human experience and question societal norms. And the legacy of liberalism rem